Hi guys, it is time for March's Purpose Driven Essentials Kit. I'm super excited to bring this to you. I have to confess, I've already opened the box because what I want to do is give you a tour of what's in it and then do an entry in my Bible. So we do a kit uh, opening and a kit using all in one video. I, think, I just thought that might be kind of fun. So um, I wanted to take a sneak peek to see what was in store and I will show you what's in here. And then I'll do a little art journaling um, in my Bible and um, I'll probably just fast forward through that and you can watch it with music, but I will show you the kits here. Uh, the kit's contents, I, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so Purpose Driven Essentials has some key components in their kits. They almost always have music, a book, craft supplies for your art journaling, and did I say music already? <laughs> music, um, <laughs> a book, art journaling supplies, and then um, just sometimes other random goodies and things. Oh, and a snack. That's what I was trying to remember, a snack. So they send you a packing list so you can know what you got. Then this is um, a really neat explanation that talks about their intentions for how you can use this kit. And this kit this month is focused on very simple devotionals based on God's uh, names, which I really appreciate because um, I've been wanting to study the names of God. So this is perfect timing. Then you get this cute little pink sack that you can put special things in. If you pre-ordered, you got a necklace that you can keep in there. You get a bookmark, so you can bookmark where you've been in your Bible. It's a stretchy band with a beautiful rose on it, um, and it'll just slip over the cover of your Bible and uh, look super pretty and be really handy at the same time. So that's super fun. Then we've got the CD Miracles by Hawk Nelson. I'm sure it's amazing because Hawk Nelson is amazing. I don't have that CD. I love it how I always get music I don't already have. And then here's the little devotionals. And again, it comes with papers that you can use in between each of the devotionals, which is really fun. And um, it just goes through the different names of God and then uh, scriptures that go with that name and a little prayer you can pray to focus on that name for the week or the day or whatever you're whatever you're doing for your pace in your Bible art journaling. Then we have a chocolate chip toffee cookie. Um, yum, hello. Then we've got a prayer bead. I think this is something that they're doing every month. They're sending you a bead and if God answers your prayer, you can put it on the tassel you got in a kit um, in January. I believe this came in January. And so the idea is that if it's a way to record that God is answering your prayers. Because sometimes we forget if we just keep praying and then we don't take stock to look back. We may not remember. And God has answered a couple of prayers for me this month. This has been another extraordinarily painful and difficult month, you guys. I am ready to be in a season of peace and rest. <laughs> Not quite there yet, um, but in the midst of it, God is answering prayer. So um, I'm very grateful that and I'm very grateful for his presence. So I will be putting that prayer bead on my tassel. Then we've got ink daubers and a beautiful color of ink. It says dark teal stardust pearlescent. We're going to try that out. So uh, while I'm chatting here with you guys, I'll go ahead and open it because I'm going to try try it out today with you guys. Should be kind of fun. All right. And then little ink daubers. I'll show you how to use those. Then they sent these pictures of, um, there's three different pictures here. And the idea is that you can use them. You can either put them in your Bible or you can use this tracing paper and actually trace them into your Bible like as if you've drawn them yourself. And then there's enough tracing paper that you could trace other things too. I love this because like we kind of forget old fashioned carbon copies of things now that we've got computers and can print everything out. But I love this idea. So I think that's a really neat um, artistic idea that just hasn't kind of been brought back into the art world. I really like it. 
And then there's fun embellishments here, cutouts, um, paper cutouts and things that you can use to help embellish your page. In fact, I think I see one that I want to use. We're gonna pull that one out. And then this book, Knowing God by Name, A Girlfriend in God Faith Adventure. So this looks kind of cool. I haven't heard of this book. Um, I've heard of this group, Girlfriends in God, um, and uh, they're speakers and writer, a group of speakers and writers. And so this should be uh, pretty cool. It says, Redeemer, Healer, Provider, how will you encounter God today? Oh, it says it includes, oh, it does include journaling pages. <gasps> okay, so this is like a devotional and journal. Oh, you guys, this is cool. I love these. Oh, this is the one I'm going to do today, actually. Um, I decided in this season, I don't know if you, when you go through hard things, I don't know. Um, I'm learning that in life, um, sometimes there are just seasons and you go through really hard stuff and you can't always share it because sometimes it's kind of a family thing or you're just not ready to talk about it or, you know, there's other people involved and it may uh, disrupt their privacy. And so because of that, you end up feeling alone and unseen. And I got to say, um, I've been through <laughs> that season. I, so there have been times where I feel like I've been kind of <laughs> sequestered um, from the world and uh, through this hard time. And going through a hard time is hard and going through a hard time feeling a little bit alone in it is even harder. Now I haven't been completely alone. I do have good friends and family around me. Um, and I'm blessed. I'm not completely alone, but I really relate to this name of God, the God who sees. And, uh, this comes from the story of when Hagar, uh, Abraham's, um, servant, Abraham and Sarah's servant, uh, gave birth to Ishmael and he ended up sending her out into the wilderness and she trusted God out there. And, um, she called him the God who sees me really, I can't fathom Hagar's journey and what that must've been like. And so, um, I really, really love this, that he is the God who sees Elroy. But let's do some Bible journaling on Elroy. Uh, she called on the name of the Lord who spoke to her and said, You are a God of seeing. For she said, Truly here I have seen him who looks after me. I need to concentrate right now on a God who looks after me. So that's what I'm going to Bible journal. So I will just put on some music while I do my art. And I hope you enjoy watching what goes on here.